Hey, what's up? I'm Ada from DX Daily Podcast, and you got to check this out. So Kendrick Lamar has adopted many monikers throughout his illustrious career, such as K-Dot, King Kendrick, Cornrow Kenny, and Kung Fu Kenny. As he prepares to open a new chapter with his upcoming album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, he's taken on yet another new alias, Oklahoma. Kendrick introduced the name last August when he launched the website Oklahoma.com, through which he announced that his fifth album will mark his final release on Top Dog Entertainment, the label he's called home since the start of his career. The name popped up again in Mr. Morale in the Big Steppers press release, as well as his recent video for The Heart Part 5. Like most of his output, Kendrick Lamar has yet to explain the meaning behind his latest moniker, leaving his fan base to form their own theories in search of answers. But one particularly inquisitive fan might have just solved the mystery. On Tuesday, May 10th, Spotify's Dissect Podcast posted a video on social media laying out the likely origins behind Kendrick Lamar's Oklahoma alias. In the 47-second clip, Dissect host Carl Kuchna theorizes that Oklahoma likely originates from Chata Anupa, the language of the Choctaw indigenous people. Okay, I think we just cracked the code on Kendrick Lamar's new alias, Oklahoma. Kendrick has been signing Oklahoma and all press for his upcoming album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Friend of Dissect Femi Olutade discovered that Oklahoma likely originates from Chata Anupa, the language of the Choctaw indigenous people. Okla, which you may recognize from Oklahoma, means people in Choctaw. The Choctaw definition for ma is a marker used when addressing someone, like my lord. So Oklahoma translates to my people. As Femi pointed out, within the Choctaw translations of the Bible, the phrase Oklahoma is often used when a poet or prophet is addressing God's people on God's behalf. Oklahoma, meaning my people, seems to fit exactly into the messaging of the heart part five, which begins with a quote from Oklahoma, I am all of us. And Kendrick even specifically says my people just before he begins rapping. All my people. Dicehead co-writer Femi Alutade, whose discoveries informed the video, bolstered the theory by pointing to Kendrick Lamar and J-Rock's 2011 collaboration, My People, on which they rapped about the tragedy of black-on-black -black killings. He added, Black people committing violence against black people is a central theme in the heart part five, most clearly in the third verse where Kendrick embodies the spirit of Nipsey Hussle, who speaks from heaven after getting killed by another black man back in 2019. While Kendrick Lamar has yet to, and is probably unlikely to, address the Choctaw theory behind Oklahoma, it wouldn't be the first time he's identified with an historic culture originating from beyond his hometown of Compton, California. On 2017's Damn, the Pulitzer Prize winning MC declared, I'm a Israelite, don't call me black no more, that word is only a color, it ain't facts no more. While including a voicemail message from his cousin Carl Duckworth proclaiming, The so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native American Indians are the true children of Israel. But what do you think about this theory of the Oklahoma nickname? Do you think it makes sense or could it mean something else? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.